All right, so today we are talking about Fluent CRM email sequences, what they are and how we can use them in our workflows. An email sequence is a series of emails automatically sent out to specific segments of people on your mailing list. An email sequence can be triggered based on time, someone being entered onto a mailing list, or maybe even by someone clicking a specific link. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'll be talking about how to set them up and also some use cases of how to apply them on your business. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Fluent CRM using my affiliate link, you get 20% off by using coupon code MAK. And you also get my automation mastery course absolutely free. Links to all of that in the video description below. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to come over here to Fluent CRM click on dashboard. So this will give us an overview of Fluent CRM. So since we're going to be focusing on creating some sequences, we need to go over here to our email. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, hover over here and click email sequences. And I need to create a brand new sequence. So I'm going to click on create new sequence. We're going to give this a name. So let's call this subscriber. Okay, so let's call this um, email subscriber or downloaded ebook. So these are the tags that we have on our website. So perhaps maybe we should use downloaded ebook. All right, so I'm going to hit next. So now we can create our sequence email. So I'm going to click on this plus button. So this is going to be our email one. So to make things easier now, I'm just going to add titles which are easier to follow. So I'm just going to call this email one. And then here we need to specify the delay so we can say, okay, send it right away or send it after one day or after a specific time. So if you click on this drop down, you get your minutes, days, weeks, months. So this very first one here, I want it to go right away. So our email one is going to go right away. And here we also have our time sending range. So if I click on this drop down, I can decide what time I need to send my emails. So start time, I'm going to say... Okay, let's go with uh, 10 minutes past three and 10 minutes past four. So I want this to be the time that my emails are sent. Okay, great. Now moving on, this is where we get to start writing our email. So I'm going to start off with saying hello. And then I'm going to add the at sign and add my first name prefix. And then this is going to be my body for the email. So you can add call to actions if you want. You can add some buttons here as well. So to add a button, I'm just going to add my forward slash here and choose my button here. And I'm just going to call this click here. And then here on the top, uh, this is where we can add our link. So for this example, I'm going to add a blank link, open in a new tab and then just click here on submit. So now my button is active. OK, so that's the body of my email. So I can now move on to the next step. So I am going to now save this. Next, I'm going to go back to my sequence. So this is my first email. As you can see, I can now set another one. So I'm going to say add another one. And this one here is going to be email two. But this time, this one is going to be sent after two days. And again, just like how I did before, I can add my range. So I'm just going to use that as my range. And then over here, I'm going to add the body of my email. So just like before, I'm just going to paste my contents in here. I'm going to save. Now let's go on and add the last one. So I'm going to go back to my sequence. And now you can see this is email one, email two. So let's just add one more quick one. This is email three. And this is going to be after three days. Add my range. And also there's something I didn't mention here, and that is we can add specific days here. So if you don't want your email to be sent out on a Sunday, you can just uncheck that. Or perhaps maybe even Saturday, you can just uncheck that and have them go out during the week. All right. So now that I've set all this up, I'm going to come over here as well and add my heading. And then now I am going to save. So back to our sequence now. OK, so as you can see, we now have these three emails. So this one here is going to be sent immediately. This one here is going to be sent after two days. And this one is going to be sent after three days. So if at any point you want to come back and um, make some uh, edits, you can just click here on edit and you can adjust your time. You can adjust your delay over here. You can even change your templates and so on. And this is going to basically update our email that is going out. 
Next, we also have some reports. So you can always go back here and see how this is performing. Of course, we don't have any uh, information here, but it will show us everything that we need to see. We can also see how many people have clicked and, and so on. So this is very, very powerful in showing us what is happening. Over here to uh, the right, we also have information on how many emails have been sent, how many emails have been opened, clicked, or how many people unsubscribed. So this is valuable information. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this, this email sequence is going to be sent to anyone that downloads our ebook. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video on uh, Fluent CRM workflow, you need to watch that because that's where we get to set up all our tags and also our lists. So now that we have this email sequence, what we can do with this now is very, very interesting. And let me show you how. So let's say you want to um, automate this. I can come over here to automations and I want this automation to be based on someone that downloads the free ebook. So I'm going to say create new automation. Let's call this new ebook. So I'm going to select CRM tag applied, hit continue. And the tag I am going to select here is downloaded free ebook. And then I'm going to hit save settings. So the first thing I need to do here is to add these people to my sequence. So I'm going to click on this plus button and then I'm going to come over here where it says set sequence emails. I'm going to select that. Now here is where we have our sequence that we've just created. So I'm going to say downloaded ebook. This is our email sequence and save settings. So what is going to happen now is when someone downloads uh, the ebook, they're going to get a tag. That tag is going to now trigger to get these email sequences sent to anyone that has that tag. So as you can see, this is how powerful that you can use these email sequences. You can add your tag and that tag triggers the email sequence to go out. Now, there's also further things that you can do. Uh, and that is, let's say a different tag is applied. You can then say, OK, cancel those email sequences from going out. And again, this is very powerful because uh, let me give you a scenario here. So let's say you have a blog and on this blog, you're trying to promote a course, right? So it starts off with giving away a free ebook. So you give away this free ebook. Fantastic. They get a tag and then they are on this list of emails. So this list of uh, email sequences are going to be benefits of using or signing up for that course. So this can be maybe 10 emails, but if that person then decides to buy the course, you don't want to continue sending them emails, persuading them to buy the course because they've already bought it, maybe on email number five. So in that case, you want those emails to stop when they've bought something. So this is also something that you can uh, create here on this sequence. OK, so let me show you how quickly you can do that. I'm going to click here on this plus button and I am going to now add a benchmark. And this benchmark is going to apply when a tag is applied. And the tag can be, let's say, potential customer. Uh, I should have created another tag to say bought course or whatever it is, but I'm just using this as an example. OK, so if you read here on the benchmark type, this is a uh, optional trigger point. If you select uh, this option here, it will work as an optional trigger. Otherwise, it will wait for fulfill this action. OK, so I'm going to now save. So I'm going to say now if that tag, tag is applied, I need to remove uh, that other tag. So I'm going to come back to my actions here and say remove tag. And the tag I am going to remove now is downloaded free ebook. Save things. And pretty much that's it. So as you can see, this is a basic sequence which is going to work if you are trying to sell a product or you want to try and sell a service. But as you can see, these are very, very powerful uh, emails that you can send out. This is going to save you a lot of time in sending emails out every single day. So this also works with affiliate marketing. Uh, you can say, for example, promote a product. And while you're promoting that product, as soon as a tag is applied that they've purchased that product through your affiliate, you want to stop sending those emails and perhaps maybe put them on a different email sequence, which then maybe tries to sell them a course. So it's up to you how you can use this. But as you can see, there are so many applications of email sequences. So tell me what you think. Any questions? 
comments box below. If you have any other topics that you think I should cover on Fluent CRM, please let me know in the comments box below as well. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.